Dr. Pert. No hate because I did think about going to her when I thought about getting procedures done. But she's actually not a plastic surgeon. She's actually not. She didn't go study plastic surgery, did she? I, I, her, her work is beautiful. What I really feel is that some people look like Roblox characters when they come from Dr. Perch and some people look really beautiful. I really struggle with people who've got high BMIs getting BBL, getting BBLs. Like I've got a high BMI, so I actually don't qualify for a BBL. I don't think I'd get a BBL because I'm scared of the procedure. It's probably, it is literally one of the most dangerous procedures to get. And I know that my chance are on a desk, on a table. So I don't, I wouldn't get a BBL. I would get some lipo. Yo, take a little bit here, take a little bit here. That's another thing. A lot of girls are getting like BBLs and stuff, but they're not, they, they, they still got Abu Mama's hands. Your arms still look like you're the lady who is stirring the pup at a funeral. You, your, your arms say, I make the best stew. Your arms say, Ki bega di scones. Your arms are saying, Ki jamagwenya. But your waist is screaming, Coca Cola bottle. But your arms are screaming, Ki yeta kamere. I make the best stew and my wingers on a Saturday. That for me just don't make no sense. Definitely thighs, butt ratio also needs to happen. But you know what? I also shouldn't mind my damn business that pays me because that doesn't pay my business. Shouldn't really matter. So you shouldn't be mad at me for having my opinion. But I honestly don't think that we should care what people do with their bodies. If you want to look like a Roblox character, do you, baby. Do what you need to do. Be happy and make sure you go to somebody who is accredited, qualified and experienced. I mean, if you want to get your body done, I saw you going to Dr. Pet. Why don't you go to Dr. Leon? Guys, y'all know our faves that go to that doctor. Their body's not giving the double stomach. Yo, guys, my point is why, why are you guys going to a doctor that doesn't have a certificate to be doing surgery? Why are you guys going to a doctor that doesn't have a certificate to be doing plastic surgery on your body? Why? You guys don't love yourself. Hmm, Sun Manan, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am now whenever Uina Moralong comes on the social media streets and she starts venting, obviously most of us don't take her serious and go and just shame you know, she's always venting that one, she's always live dragging people and all of that. So sometimes when we are supposed to believe her, we don't. And in most cases, 90% of the things that she says, it always turns out to be true. So again you know we are sorry and we will listen to you more now guys if you're not familiar with utato fox mrs Tato fox she has a youtube channel she's here she's a very interesting person to listen to i remember i'm not too sure if she's still doing them um i remember her segments ask Tato fox or ask mrs Tato fox something like that those used to be my favorite segments and i think she should actually open her own podcast because she's very she's a very interesting person to listen to um so yeah man she should consider that now she dropped a video today i am subscribed to your channel of course i i do follow her so whenever she drops videos um they do get recommended to me so on today's video she was just basically doing a sit down um, chatting and one of the topics she touched on was the bbl topic which is currently a very spicy interesting topic that is surrounded by a lot of controversy as well a lot of people think some people think you know it's it's okay if you want to get your body done it's fine some people think guys yeah, it's dangerous some people think only insecure people do it Nje, there's a lot going on but yeah now when Inamorolong obviously mentioned that Dr. Pat doesn't have the actual certificate, like she's not a qualified surgeon, she's not qualified to be doing BBLs and stuff. Obviously we're like, ah, uh, but you know, aren't you afraid to get sued? But you can't get sued if it's the truth. 
and it does turn out to be the truth so i don't know why a lot of celebrities or public figures or just people in the public eye i don't know why they are always promoting dr pets i don't know why they always prefer going to her because i think it's in terms of the pricing and all of that it's one of the same thing in terms of the risk though if she's not a qualified surgeon if she's not qualified to be doing what she's doing which is the bbl or lipo then i don't know why people honestly go to her about doromongi cn bougie and all of that honestly speaking most people like 90 percent or let me say 60 or 70 percent 70 percent of people that go to her i encourage them to be earlier but i don't wanna lie it's it doesn't give i don't know whether maybe pela to what else tell you it would be earlier so i just also so i was not my very shame um the bar book at the only thing i visit ppl or what what but my ppl abo abandaba puma good doctor pet awang has a 30 percent of them yes definitely it's giving i mean okay feel and stuff you know it's giving but some of them i i wouldn't recommend so anyway guys do let me know what you think in the comment section down below that was just that we'll see yeah you guys be careful surgery bbl surgery and all of that transferring of fats you're very dangerous in Dasikaya. so you guys be careful at least go to people that are qualified go to people that actually have the certificates uh don't risk your life man especially if you have kids don't risk it do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below